Well, Nicholas, I mean, just looking at your past work, you've been Camila Cabello's prince in Cinderella. You romanced a president's son in Red, White, and Royal Blue. And now, of course, you are seducing the king in this mm. series. I mean, is it safe to say that if there's a hot royal romance in the script, you're flocking to it? I, I mean, it's, it's, it's not even me flocking to it. The industry knows me as that guy now. I mean, it just gets put on my, uh -huh. my desk. Uh, it no. suits you. It, well, thank you. I, I mean, you know, the three characters, despite I think having that link, all feel very sort of distinctly different to me. And, and George was completely unlike anyone I'd played before. So I was a no-brainer and, and wanting to, to play him. My son, change does not come unless you grab it by the hand. Give the king whatever he wants. May I perform for you? And I have to admit, y'all had me clutching my pearls on this one. <laughs> <laughs> but it was all just so uh, deliciously wicked, honestly. And, and Julianne, I was watching this thinking, these characters must be so fun to play. I mean, what was your favorite part of playing this scheming mama? My God, no, absolutely. It was so much fun. It was so wonderfully written and so, so vivid and so human and so entertaining. You know, she's a character who has almost no subtext. It's all text. You know, she's very, very mm -hmm. active. She says what she's thinking. She acts on what she's thinking. Um, she and she even voices her frustration. So there was something very freeing about it, about about playing someone who doesn't really care what anybody else thinks and is kind of and and is also you know she's desperate to survive. You know, so she'll kind of do anything, any she'll do anything she needs to do for her survival and for her children's survival. He will be yours, mine, ours. Did you learn a thing or two from Mary, or was there one part of her that you could relate to the most? I think, I don't know, I admire her frankness. I don't mm. know that I am always quite so frank. I don't know that it's, it's necessary to mm. be that way, mm. you know? Yeah. But I think, but I think right. she's I think she's bold, and that's interesting. Now, of course, there are those steamy scenes in this series, that's a fact. I have the king, I have England. What could possibly stop us now? Nicholas, what do you want folks at home to know about how what it takes to execute those scenes and, and what, what it's really like on that set? I think it takes a lot of preparation in terms of understanding, you know, uh, what the scenes are for and how they serve the story and um, you know for George it's his it's his currency it's how he, yes. he operates in the world and I, I think um, um, I'm so proud of, of the work that we did because everything feels incredibly purposeful and, and incredibly powerful I think it really helped me discover George's power in a way which was really exciting and for you Julianne what would you say is maybe your favorite or perhaps most challenging part of the period costumes that you wear in something like this well you know, there are lots and lots of layers. I mean, I'll, I'll say that. In, in a way, it was helpful because it was so cold. It was oh cold. Yeah, and we were yeah. shooting in all these stately homes, mm. these very these ancient homes, and of course, there's no heat in no them. No central heat. So, so, so the fact that I could wear so much on my body yeah. at once was was helpful. But I think it's you know it, it changes absolutely everything. It changes how you how you move, how much space you take up. I mean, I was so big sometimes I couldn't get into a car. I had to be transported in a van. Um, but it's, it's it is it is interesting. You know, I mean, clothes are signifiers, and I think as the show goes on, you see with us too that as we become more successful, our clothes definitely reflect that. And in fact, I'm wearing a pearl earring for George. Thank you. Oh, in solidarity. Pearl, but... Thank you. My family is perfect. Was that a joke? No. Please continue. Now, Julian, you all have two children in real life who are grown adults. What do they think of mom in this role? Have they watched it yet? No, they haven't watched it because it's not out yet. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, they don't get tweeners? <laughs> no, no favoritism in the, in the more family. Yeah, no. yeah. Will, will they watch, do you think? Is this something that you're excited for them to see? I or don't is it know. Kind of I wonder if they'll watch. I've never wanted my children to feel obligated to watch anything that I'm in. I mean, I think it's important. It's just like, I'm just their mom. I'm just mm. their parent. So they can watch. They don't have to watch. Whatever. Well, can I ask, has there ever been a film in your resume that you were nervous for them to watch? No. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, no. I, I mean, I, I feel, like I said, if, if they want to watch something, that's fine with me. But it's never been, they actually only recently has, have they started to watch things. I mean, when, when, they, when they were younger, they didn't have any interest. Nor should, most people are not terribly interested in what their parents do for a living, frankly. Sure, right, no matter yeah. what they're doing. No matter right? what they're yeah. doing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now looking ahead, Nick Nicholas, uh, what can you? How do you describe the romance you have as a pop star with Anne Hathaway in *The Idea of You*? I know that's coming up next. 
Yeah, I was, I'm so excited for the, the idea of you. Again, I think portraying something that we're not really used to seeing on screen, which is an age gap love between um, a, a younger man and, and, and an older woman. But Julie, you did a, a, a movie about that as well. You seduced me. But I was 13 years old. Don't give me that. But I was. I don't care how old you were. <laughs> she was going. When you, when you have a resume that long, she's like, I have to go through. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really, um, I'm thrilled uh, for that to come out. Annie's such an incredible uh, actress. So yeah, excited for people to watch it. I'm very excited for both of you, especially. I can't wait to watch more of this. So congratulations and thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Take Bye. care, everyone.